Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how to add photos to your funeral poster using the shape fill tool in Microsoft PowerPoint. Your template has green shapes which you need to fill with photos from your computer. First, click one of the green shapes. This template has several photos grouped together as a photo collage. So when I click a shape, a box around the collage with small white squares in each corner appears. This indicates the whole collage is selected. Make sure you select the shape you want to edit by clicking it a second time. The small white boxes in the corners of the shape indicate it's been selected. Click the Shape Format tab highlighted at the top of your screen. If you can't see this tab, make sure you've selected the box first. If the box is selected and you still can't see the Shape Format tab, you may need to use a newer version of PowerPoint on a desktop or laptop computer. See the video description below for a link to the Microsoft website where they usually offer a one month free trial of Microsoft 365, which includes the full version of PowerPoint. Now click the small arrow next to the Shape Fill tool, which looks like a paint bucket. Select Picture, choose a photo from your computer. This needs to be a JPEG or PNG file. This picture I've selected, even though it's landscape and the photo box is portrait, that's okay because you can add any size photo to the box and adjust the image. Now click Insert. You can see the photo fills the shape completely, but it's squashed, so we need to adjust the photo to fit the shape. To do this, click the Picture Format tab. It may be called Picture Tools in your version of PowerPoint. Click the little arrow next to the Crop tool and click Fill. You can click and drag the photo around to reposition it. To zoom in on one section of the photo, hover over the white box in the corner of the picture until it turns to an arrow. Then click and drag it out. Readjust the position of the photo if necessary, and then click away from the picture to finish. If you want to edit how you crop the photo later, select the photo by clicking twice, click the little arrow next to the crop button, click fill again and adjust as before. Repeat the process until you've filled all the boxes with photos. Please note, when you insert a photo, there should not be any of the original green shape visible, like in this photo here. If you can see some of the green shape behind the photo, this might be because you've copied and pasted a photo onto the poster. I recommend only using the shape fill tool to add photos to your template. If you prefer written instructions, included with your purchase is a help guide that has information on adding photos as well as how to edit text and print your template. I'm here to help, so if you have any questions about your template or need some help, please send me a message.